Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful day. Actually, it's always a beautiful day when you're playing with classic cars. And yes, today is the day we begin my usual SOP for any car that I get into my possession. And as you know, the Fiat 127 Alitalia is back with me. Uh, fun fact, it is not a hatchback because the boot is separate from the glass. If it was a to be classified as a hatchback, the whole thing needs to lift up. But this is actually a coupe. Yes, one of the very first cars to be classified as a super mini was the Fiat 127. So today, we are doing my usual SOP. Now, of course, Bobby had this car before me and he took care of it. But any car that comes back to me or any car that I buy will have to go through a full SOP. Uh, my usual SOP. So I love the way the boot opens, the clamshell bonnet opens, sorry. So, in case you're wondering why there's so much space here, the spare tire used to be up here. This is where they kept the spare tire. This is the hub to actually hold the spare tire down. And the tire, the wheels are so small that you could actually put the spare tire here. So, the hunt continues. This is going to be very difficult to find because you've got to find like a scrapped 127 with the spare tire to get that. That's why there's so much space here. Amazing, isn't it? Now, who in their right mind would put a spare tire in the engine bay? The Italians would because somebody must have said, you know, that is really hot back there. I'm in front there. So it's a really bad idea to put the spare tire in there. And somebody else said, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and that was it. So this is brand new because what happened? Uh, let me just show you before, before I drove the car back to back here, it was uh, rather empty. And uh, what happened was the, the radiator cap had actually fused to the radiator and when I removed it it broke completely there was one piece inside that I'm glad I could fish it out so this is the original radiator cap I'm so sad because that's a brand new one but that's the original radiator cap from 1975 and it survived that long so we're gonna check all the rubber hoses as well there's a bit of crunk cr cr that's one way you can check you can do this yourself if you press your hose and there's a crack, 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 crack sound inside there. That means it's all sedimented up in there. So today, just for today, we're going to do a full blood transfusion for the engine. Thank you, Momo Racing, for sponsoring the mineral-based oil, yeah? That's all you need for an old car like this. Forget about fully synthetic. You do not want a fully synthetic uh, oil for this car. We're going to check the charging, see whether the alternator is charging the battery properly the battery looks pretty new there's no date on it but there's the battery looks pretty new and she started up and and drove here with no issues would you like to hear a startup sound first you got to make sure this very long gear stick is in neutral and let's start it up yeah baby <laughs> waking up Look how close the look how close the pedals are. Look look at that. So it's very easy to heal and tow with this car. Amazing. So, yes. Let's begin. We shall begin with uh, the engine oil of course, and then later they will jack up the car to change the gearbox oil. Uh, check the charging. We're going to flush the radiator. We're going to check all the the brake fluids and uh, coolant and everything we're going to flush basically flush everything and then uh, I've already talked to Ken about getting this done I'm gonna have double wipers yeah my OCD won't allow this <laughs> so where's where's the man where's the man there he is joy lie 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 so he's gonna handle the car today kita tukar engine oil dulu lah okay John lepas tu semua kasih check lah so here we go stay tuned the transfusion begins and the uh, saga of the Alitalia begins as well. And up, up, up and away! Ken was just making sure the mounting points are alright so it doesn't hurt, hurt, hurt the car. And just found that sticker. That, that's the shop that used to belong to my late friend Ramesh. He's the one that restored this car. Yeah, I got some overspray here, which I'm, 
I hate overspray, so I'm gonna do that myself. This is not working anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But there she goes. Can you see this? 13 by 5J magnesium alloy, original magnesium alloy. Chromodora rims, magnesium alloy, flammable, highly flammable. There we go. Yeah, there's some rust spots coming out already. This is expected. If it's not a Fiat, it wouldn't rust. Hey Ken, how's it going, Hi. man? All good? Yep. So, are you excited about this project? <laughs> oh, a bit worried. <laughs> I would be too. Thankfully, everything is intact because these would be impossible to get. And there's the sump for the and the drainage nut. Oh, got some stuff to look at under there as well. But you know, you gotta remember this car is from 1975, more than 40 years ago. So the fact that she's still just running, just that fact alone, is uh, amazing. The fact that she was a buy and drive. I drove her back from Bobby's place without any fuss. So, so happy. So the last time this car was serviced was when Bobby first got it. We did the service here, right? When when Bobby got this car? Uh, one time. One time service, right? Time. Yeah. And so let's see the condition of the oil. That is, yeah, pretty bad, pretty bad from uh, 2019, 2020, there around, thereabouts. Yeah. It's only a three-cylinder engine, so four liters should be enough, right, bro? Yeah, enough. Yeah. Cool. That's that's not my oil filter, though. No. Mine is. Much bigger, right? Yeah. Oh, this this needs to be taken care of. Okay, okay to the rescue. Gotta take care of this. Later, I'll send it to Panjang. Check the exhaust system. Winsun SS3. Check the full exhaust. The good thing is I don't need to change tires. These tires are practically brand new. I don't think they've dri been driven on more than a thousand kilometers since the time that it was changed. They're from 2019. Here comes the gear oil. Yeah, unlike my Alfetta where the gearbox is at the back, this one the gearbox is in front. So basically a lot of the weight is in the front of this car. And we also saw that the steering boot, sorry, drive shaft boot cover is broken. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. the car saying thank you <laughs> okay folks so we're well on the way in so far as the rejuvenation of the 127 now that it's back in my possession is concerned uh, lots more to do lots more to come so stay tuned love these wheels love these wheels. money cannot buy kind of wheels okay and uh, yeah so she's in good hands and uh, I will keep updating insofar as the journey of the little 127 Alitalia is concerned. Yeah, so I just checked the wheels. Uh, sorry, I just checked the tires. They are 2019. I don't know if you can see that. 34th week of 2019. All four. Tires were done here actually, so I can save on the tires. Okay, Ken, thank you so much. Uh, please uh, take care of this old lady. She's much older than you. <laughs> And congratulations to one of my viewers who bought a saga after seeing my saga of the saga. 
in uh, getting it done here. I just, it's a manual, all original, very, very cool. This is a Saga Mega Valve, uh, the 12 valve variant. He's got a whole bunch of parts already. Very, very nice. Congratulations. And uh, just to let you know, I have a set of four wheel covers, original. You want to buy, you let me know, okay? You tell Ken. <laughs> okay, you all take care. Thanks, Ken. We'll keep you posted and uh, we'll see what's what. Oh, and another viewer of mine brought this beautiful Corolla wagon from Singapore. All the way from Singapore. Look at this, look at this. You know what? Very close, very similar engines, but it's a wagon. And he brought it all the way up from Singapore to get it done here. Awesome. Really awesome. Take care, you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.